In a free state, tongues too should be free, wrote Erasmus in 1516. He was one of the great pioneers of free speech. Free speech is a strange phenomenon. Why allow people to say things that seem to be obviously wrong and even offensive? Well, because free speech is our best defense against our own worst instincts. We all suffer from confirmation bias. I do too, and so do you. Erasmus probably did too. We tend to look for data that confirm what we already believe. And so we miss knowledge that at first glance doesn't seem useful. But we have an unexpected ally, our opponents. People who dislike our ideas often have knowledge we choose to ignore. Even if their conclusions are wrong, even stupid, they've seen things that we haven't. When European tongues were loosened, we got the Enlightenment and the Scientific Revolution. 17th century philosophers and scientists used the new postal system to create a republic of letters, where they shared ideas, improved what they found promising and attacked what they found faulty. For the first time, the authority of ideas began to replace ideas of authority. Today's communication technology allows us to spread our ideas to hundreds, even millions of people in an instant. Some people even make a good living from it. The internet allows for unbridled discourse. Some of it true, some false, and much of it in between. But free speech is not about guaranteeing truth. It is about expanding our world, our mind. When you cancel or censor someone with whom you disagree, you lose a perspective on the world, a perspective that you can never replace by yourself. Hey, check out these other great videos from Free to Choose Network. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated on episodes of New and Improved with me, Johan Norberg.